So the facial nerve, when it comes out the stylomastoid foramen, is going on to supply the muscles of facial expression. Okay, that completes the facial nerve. We'll move on now to the glossopharyngeal nerve. As you all know, that's cranial nerve number nine. So the glossopharyngeal nerve comes down through the jugular foramen as it leaves the skull, along with vagus and with accessory. Um, as it comes out from the skull, it sends some branches which are going to go down towards the, the pharynx. Oops. And then it's going to form what's called the tympanic nerve, TN, which is going to loop round and enter back into the middle ear through a small foramen which has actually no name and it's going to provide sensation to the middle ear. It's also going to then continue as a lesser petrosal nerve that's going to go through a promontory on the roof of the middle ear but it's going to leave and it's going to head up and round it's going to come down through the Fremena Valley and head onto the area where the greater auricular nerve is and that's where it will terminate and there's a little contribution again. So what you can see here is we now have on the board cranial nerve 3, cranial nerve 5, cranial nerve 7 cranial nerve 9. This, this is the full map of the anatomic arrangement of the cranial nerves which are responsible or associated with the parasympathetic carriage.